awesome people welcome back to another video or welcome to your first video ever of me um today we are painting some more plant pots and if you want a really in-depth look of how i do this and what exactly i'm doing i recommend either watching my previous video or check out my um my little blog the link is in the description if you want to do that so I will of course talk about what I'm doing here and it's basically I picked up a leaf that I liked that would give off a nice little sort of leaf shape and a little bit of the lines of the leaves when you would press it on I tested it out a few times on paper to see what leaves I like the most and I ended up with this one and you can see that I'm just pressing it on and then um, making sure that it looks nice and I won't say tidy but I don't really do that then later on I will add a couple more colors as you can probably uh, see I personally thought that just the pink would look a bit boring so that's why I later added in more colors with um, with my paintbrush and I think this is a very easy um, way to decorate your plant pot because you don't really need any skill by default if you just press on the leaves you can leave it at that and I think you are able to just put some paint on the leaf and press it on a pot if not then um, I'm sorry then perhaps another DIY is something for you and if you want to add more spice you can just play with it you can continue it like I added more colors and more lines to define the leaves a bit more but if you want to outline them or something like that or add little sparkles or dots of paint that's completely cool too like explore your creativity this is not a DIY to do if you want things to be super perfect or super tidy. This is a DIY that you do out of love for your plants or love for your home. And be very mindful when you're doing it. Because if you're stressing about it, it will take away the fun of it. And then every time you look at your plant, you will remember the stress of getting it perfect. Rather than the fun afternoon you have painting it and that's something that I personally would be annoyed by and be sad about you wanna look at your plan be happy and appreciate it and um, you know continue with that appreciation down to the plant pot and as I've said before I really like um, weird plant pots I have the, like a soft spot for plant pots that are like animal shaped like I got a plant pot of a dog face I've got a kitty plant pot a rhino plant pot and hedgehog plant pot so yeah I truly um, appreciate like the more unique plant pots rather than just a default little color but of course it's personal like maybe you like a plain looking plant pot more and I can totally see the reasoning behind it because certain plants just show off better in a more relaxed plant pot that's why I personally just have both because I need to give in to the urge of buying the cute dog plant pots and such so if you have like a very um, colorful plant or something I have plain looking ones for those but like just a plain green plant well that will look cool in a more unique plant pot so well that's a little bit of like plant pot advice if you are <laughs> interested in that but you are probably not here for that but still you know more knowledge more power more epic home and I personally also think that like plants are something that evolves in your home like you get one plant and then you sort of get more into plants and learn more about plants and you know that way you also sort of 
keep growing your plant pot collection because your plant grows and then you want to get a bigger pot but then you also want to get a new plant for in your smaller pot because the pot was so cute and that happened to me and now I got too many um, plants because I just didn't stop buying plants and that means I need to keep buying pots and that means that I got loads of small little pots and then not that much of the slightly bigger pots or things like that. If you decide to do any of these um, plant pot painting things, make sure to send me a picture or tag me in the picture if you upload it somewhere. Because don't be too afraid to show off your work. I've been afraid to show off my work for years and with just showing it off I hope that someone else would get enough bravery to show off their work off because it's important that people see your work it can be inspiring and to me a lot of my um, drawings or hobbies help me in a way like with relaxation or something else so I now I actually appreciate sharing it more than I used to but sometimes certain things that I'm not very proud of do take a bit more effort to actually end up sharing and here you can see the pot with a beautiful plant in it I'm really proud of this plant I got it recently it's new and with that the DIYs end and I hope to see you next time and um, check out my Etsy shop or my Instagram so you can tag me there or TikTok if you make a cool TikTok of this and um, I hope to stream soon and I hope to see you there too take care bye bye